Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to install APM on Mac operating system and this is going to be very easy and if you are a total beginner on APM do not worry I am going to start from scratch and it will be very basic step by step. So we will see how to install APM in two ways. One way is through Node.js and the other way is through APM desktop client and I will show you both of these ways. We will also see how can you check the installation and dependencies using APM doctor and finally we will see how to uninstall APM. So let's get started and before I start let us go to the APM official website which is apm.io and this is the website if you go here you will get the information on how to download and install APM. So yes this is the website let me also copy this URL and provide it in the notes and all these notes will be available for you. So you can see this is the official website. If you want to install through APM desktop client you can just go here download APM and then install it and then the other process is through node. So you can see these commands. So step number one here will be check if node is installed on your system so this is the first thing we will check and I am pressing command and spacebar on my keyboard to bring up spotlight and now I will search for a uh, terminal so I will go to my terminal and here I will check npm or node space minus minus version and you can see node is not installed that is why I am getting this uh, message command not found I can also check for npm and I will get the same message here so that means node is not yet installed so these are the two commands you can use node space hyphen hyphen version or you can also just say node space hyphen v uh, so assuming that node.js is not installed I will now go to the next step for installing node.js now there are two ways one way is you can go to node.js website so I'm searching for node.js download and this is the official website node.js.org so here let us go here and see and you can see here you can get the installer for Mac OS and then run that installer and that will install node.js on your Mac operating system the other way which is shown here is you can use brew so you can use brew to install node and brew is a package manager for Mac so if I go to home brew so this is the website for home view I will also copy this and provide it in the notes and you can see this is the website and it says the missing package manager for Mac OS so it can be used to install packages on Mac OS so to install home view you just have to copy this statement here and then paste it in your terminal and it will install home view in my case it is already installed so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this command brew install node and if you want you can also install it by downloading the installer for node.js and then running it so I'm just going to use brew and I'm going to use this command brew install node so I will say brew install node and this will start installing node on my Mac operating system let me put this all in the notes here I will just highlight this commands and yes so it will first update home view and then start the installation so yes you can see it has started it is downloading the required latest node version and it is now it will unzip and install it and yes looks like this is done now and now we should have node on our system so once this is installed so let me also copy the URL for this direct link if you want to do it from here you can get it from here as well and then step number three will be check if node is installed and these are the commands that we have to use and we have seen this earlier as well 
so I will use the command node v and then npm v so npm is the package manager for node which is used to install other packages using node so if I clear the screen and say node space hyphen hyphen version or node space hyphen v it is showing me the version of node installed and similarly I will say npm minus v and this is also showing me the version uh, I can also say which node it will give me the location of node or which npm so you can see the location as well so now that means node is now installed and now step number four is we will install apm using node and here on the apm website you can see the commands are already there which is npm install minus g apm and here minus g flag is for installing it globally on this system so I will use the same command here and let us see so it will download and install apm let me highlight these commands yes so this is now fetching the apm libraries and it will start the installation so let us just wait for this installation to be completed and meanwhile I will also write down notes for step number five which is once we have APM installed we can check APM is installed by using the command APM space minus minus version or APM space minus we should also work so these are the commands to check APM and yes this is done so if I say APM space minus minus version I should get the version of APM installed and let me just wait and yes I am getting this version which I believe should be the latest as of now and this means APM is installed and then the next step will be step number six is start APM and the command to start APM is APM so I will say let me clear the screen and I will say APM and this should start the APM server and you can see welcome to APM version and it has started on port 4723 which is the default port for APM so I will press ctrl c on my keyboard to shut down the server and with these steps I have installed APM using node.js now the other way is using the APM desktop client and for that let me write down the notes here installing APM with APM desktop client so for that we just have to download APM desktop client from the website of APM which is apm.io and here it is and you just have to click on this download APM here and it will take you to the next page which is a github page and here for Mac you can just get this DMG so whatever is the latest version at your time you can just get the DMG and then you just have to put the DMG in the uh, applications folder so I will just click here and it will start downloading the DMG file and you can see this is downloaded and this might take some time so in my case I have already downloaded and added to my applications folder so if I take you to the applications let me just go to applications and you can see this is the latest APM version that I have installed through APM desktop client and you can double click this to start the APM desktop so I'll just write down the notes here I will say after you get the DMG file double click on the .dmg file to install apm desktop client 
and then step number three is start APM desktop client now you can just start APM desktop client by going to your applications and double clicking on this APM icon or you can also go to spotlight I have pressed command spacebar on my keyboard to bring this spotlight search and I will search for APM and you can see I have actually two versions this is the latest one I will just click here and this will start the APM desktop client so I'll just cancel this DMG download I do not need it and you can see here it is now verifying APM2 app the APM app and it will then start it now also if you want to see what is APM desktop so this is a UI a GUI application for APM so if you go here to this github page you can see APM server and inspector in desktop GUIs for Mac Windows and Linux and you can go down and see all the documentation here APM desktop is an app for Mac Windows and Linux which gives you the power of APM automation server in a beautiful and flexible UI so it provides you a UI like this and you can use this UI to manage APM so this is what APM desktop is and you can read about all this documentation and this will be very useful so let me also copy this link here this will be useful and let us just wait for APM desktop client to be up now you may get this message that it is an application downloaded from internet are you sure you want to open so just say open and it should start the APM desktop client on your system and you can see this is the window so let me just minimize other windows and you can see this is the APM desktop client and you can just say start server and it will start APM and you can see the APM server is running now because in our case we have installed APM from node.js as well so in case I go to my terminal and I try to start APM again I will say APM and hit enter and let us see what is the message we will get and you can see it cannot start APM because the port 4723 is already in use and because we have started it here so the same thing will happen here if I stop it stop the server from here and start APM from the terminal which is done which is installed through node.js you can see now APM is started and if I go to my desktop APM desktop client and try to start server on the same port which is 4723 it will not start and will say this is already in use so I will have to use some other port but of course we will be using either one of the ways to start APM so this is how you can install and start APM on Mac OS and now uh, let us also see how to use APM doctor so APM doctor is an application using which we can check the installation and dependencies for APM so if you go to your browser and search for APM doctor so here you can see this is the APM doctor page and we also have this github page so let us go here and see how can we use APM doctor so you can see it attempts to diagnose and fix common node iOS and Android configuration issues before starting APM and this is how you can just get it if you already have node you can use this command to get APM doctor so you can see this github page as well this is a tool to verify APM installation so I will also put this here APM doctor these are the websites from where you can get the information and the github page as well and then this is the command to get APM doctor I will go to my terminal 
and say npm install apm doctor minus g and this will install apm doctor on my system so yes it has started and let us also see this documentation so you can after this is installed you can just use apm doctor minus h to see all the options you can use and then you can use any of these options to check for example if you want to check for ios setup you can use the minus minus ios flag so once this is downloaded i will show you and you can see it takes some time based on the network so let us just wait for this download and installation to be complete and yes it looks like this is done now and I can just say apm doctor minus v to check the version and this should give me the version for apm doctor and it is actually giving me the options so uh, yes I can use this and you can say apm doctor minus h which will also give you these options now let us say I want to check for iOS setup so I will say apm doctor minus minus iOS and hit enter and you can see it will give me all the information this is the system password it is asking me and yes you can see node.js was found node version was found xcode was installed xcode command line all these things are already set up if there is anything missing in your system it will highlight and it will give you a warning so in my system it looks like everything is done although i will also tell you how to do this from scratch in the coming sessions but as of now looks like everything is okay for an ios testing with apm so this is how you can use apm doctor and now finally how to uninstall apm so to uninstall apm if you have added apm through node you can just say npm uninstall minus g apm and this will uninstall apm that you have added or downloaded installed through node.js and for windows desktop client you can just go to your applications folder or wherever you have your apm application and you can just delete it from here and it will delete the apm desktop client so this is how you can uninstall apm and this is how we can install apm on mac os i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching